Thanks so much for purchasing uh, our older Honda Shadow side covers. Uh, these will make your bike look a lot nicer. Uh, the newer Shadows have a different side cover than the old ones, so you, you can use the newer ones on your bike, but the old ones, they, they need to be replaced with ours so it covers up all this uh, ugly electronic stuff. When you, And then the original side cover doesn't really look very nice either. So Anyway, uh, thanks again, and uh, let's get started. It's real easy to put them on, so... Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that, let me slide this in here, make sure that your rubber grommet on, on this uh, flange back here is in good shape. I mean, reasonably good. We're just going to run a bolt through there, so it doesn't need to be super good. But one thing you can do is you can steal this one off here because we're not going to use this one now. So steal that one if this one isn't in very good shape. Uh, on all these parts for your Hondas, too, uh, you can go to either a dealer or you can go to, like, Bike Bandit or one of those on your website, and you can actually order these online. So just pull up the OEM parts on Bike Bandit or one of those, and you can uh, go right to the year of your bike and order all this stuff online. So anyway, we'll get started. First thing you want to do is we're going to snip this little tab off here and relocate this little clip down below here. So go ahead and snip that little tab and, and we'll take this off and then we'll move it. Okay, if you'll notice I just uh, wire tied this uh, little connector down here on this wire just to kind of get it out of the way and have it fit flush in there. So go ahead and do that and then uh, the next thing we want to do is remove this uh, screw right here. It's the little black one that holds this plastic side cover on. So go ahead and remove that screw. It's a 10 millimeter socket. You can get that out of there. So take that one out and then uh, we'll show you how to put our new mounting screw in there. There it is right there. I just took it out. So Okay, we're working on the right side of the bike as you sit on it. So uh, first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and grab the short. You've got two of these threaded studs in your, uh, with your covers. Go ahead and grab the shorter one of the two. And we'll go ahead and install that on this side. So we'll be right back. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, spin the uh, acorn nut on that one end, like this. That We'll use that to drive the screw into the bike. And then uh, go ahead and put the small 6mm uh, nut and the washer on there, like that. Go ahead and spin it on there a ways uh, so we have some clearance there. And then go ahead and put some of your blue Loctite on the end of the screw. That's real important because we want to Loctite this in there. So go ahead and do that, and then we'll screw it into the bike there, and we'll be right back. Okay, let's go ahead and run that uh, uh, stud into the bike. Uh, okay, what we want to do is we want to stop when it's about two and one quarter inch from the uh, plastic to the base of the uh, acorn nut. So we'll make that about two and a quarter inches. And then when you get to that measurement, uh, go ahead and just snug up the uh, lock nut down in there. Snug that up. There again, okay, it's about two and a quarter inches from the, uh, from the plastic back in the back there, the plastic to the base of the, uh, the acorn nut. And in the metric terms, I think that's 57 millimeters. So anyway, go ahead and do that and then lock that nut up and then we'll continue. Okay, it's time to mount the side cover. Uh, basically what we have on this uh, back uh, flange on the side cover. We have a, a nine lock nut that's uh, there. Leave that in there because that's just kind of a captive nut to keep the uh, the uh, screw from coming out. And then when you tighten this in, that captive nut can actually go into the rubber uh, grommet as you tighten that. That won't hurt anything. Kind of seats it in that rubber grommet. So uh, that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and mount her up. Okay, this is our front uh, stud that we put in earlier. Uh, what I've done is I've, I've gone ahead and put two or three of the washers on there. It's not a bad idea, just kind of space it a little bit. And these will be extras in case you uh, lose one of these on the other side there. So, And then just run your nylock nut until it's just past the threaded stud. You don't want it to run that in too far. You'll have a sharp edge on the screw there to snag yourself. So anyway, just run that one in there until the nylock's just past the stud there. And then on the back... Lower the camera here. Just go ahead and tighten that one up. Put a put, be sure and put a washer on the back side, and then tighten in the nylock nut, and then just go ahead and snug that up until the side cover is nice and solid on there. It'll wiggle a little bit, but you don't want to rattle. So I just tighten that up just where it's kind of snug and it won't rattle on there. And that should should be it uh, on this side. Uh, one thing you may want to do, I'm going to go ahead and take the screw out and paint it black. 
And this is that one that holds the plastic on the above the side cover there. It's not the one that we did, gave you, but this one up here. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint that stud black with just a paintbrush. Uh, you can kind of see it down in there, and it wouldn't hurt just to paint that black and make it look real nice. So let's go ahead and do the other side. Okay, it's time to do the left side of the bike. Uh, we'll basically do it the same way. There's just a couple little uh, differences. Uh, here's the key, the ignition key, so this kind of orients a little bit there. Uh, one thing uh, we need to do is we need to make sure the wires are routed uh, around here like this so that they fit flat so when you put the side cover on they won't interfere. And then one thing I'm going to do, I snip this little area of the of right here of the side cover off. I'm going to run my wires up through there and then back into the signal lights and all that. That's kind of a good place to run the wires there. So uh, you may even want to leave this, this uh, little uh, loop here just to hold those wires when you get them in place. So... I'll swivel that out of the way. So anyway, that's kind of how it looks there. Make sure everything kind of tucked in and out of the way before we get started. Uh, remove this screw here out of the plastic again. So it's in the same place as the other side. So go ahead and take that out and then we'll screw our stud in and we'll continue. Okay, again, here's the acorn nut on the end and then here's our washer and our lock nuts. And I've already put the blue Loctite on the threads. So let's go ahead and screw that on the bike, and then I'll give you that measurement like we did the other side. Okay, it looks like this side, uh, you need to go in about uh, two and three quarters inch from the plastic out to the base of the uh, acorn nut, two and three quarter inches, and I think that's about uh, 70 millimeters. So anyway, go ahead and do that, and then tighten up the lock screw, lock nut in here, and then we're ready to mount this side cover. Okay, there you have it. Uh, uh, there again, just go ahead and run this the nylock nut on this side, just just barely past the nylock where it just engages onto the metal there, so it doesn't you don't see too much of the stud. Then the same thing on over here, just uh, on this side. Just go ahead and put the nylock nut and the washer on the back side. Oh, and make sure you put the washer on on this side too, along with the other side. Make sure you use the washers because it'll make the make it fit a lot nicer. And there again, just tighten it up just where it's. Uh, you can tighten it up to where it's a little snug, but you don't need to get it ridiculous because you might bend this little flange in the back here if you get it too tight. So just tighten it up, make sure it doesn't rattle on there. And if you'll notice, I painted this screw black, and I also painted the stud down in there black. So you can't see it now, so it looks a lot nicer. So anyway, that's it. That'll make your older 600 Shadow look a lot nicer with those side covers. So go ahead and enjoy that, and then uh, thank you very much, and ride safely. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to mention. I had a hard time starting this motorcycle. And there's a connector in here that I disconnected when I did the wiring right here. It's this uh, connector right here. Make sure that's plugged back in if you try to start your bike because that that's evidently uh, actuates the solenoid and shuts the fuel off to the motor. So just a quick note on that. Uh, be sure that's plugged in if you're going to run your motorcycle. So there again, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.